Hey mamas, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Hasi Watts. Um, this is my first official YouTube video, so bear with me. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing what I'm packing in my labor and delivery bag for the delivery of my first baby boy. Um, I already have two girls. One is one years old, so I'm going to have two under two. I'm super excited for my Irish twins. And I'm super exhausted at this point. Um, I am... 39 weeks basically so i'm ready to go i can go into labor any day now my due date is october 2nd and i have put together a video for new time moms first time new moms or moms that haven't done this in a while like my first daughter and my current baby have a complete 12 year age gap she's 12 years old so yeah with my one-year-old, I had to start all over. Like, it was just such a eye-opening experience having a baby all over again. It felt like for the first time. But now, this time, I feel like I'm kind of like a vet mom. This is my third baby. So, I've been through labor and delivery quite a few times. So, I can give great tips and advice on what you should pack. Other little tips that'll be really helpful in the hospital. So, let's get started. All right, um, sorry, I'm huge. Okay, so first things first, I got a new bag for labor and delivery from Amazon. I got this bag on a whim and I'm really happy I got it. It's really, really cute and multifunctional. Um, but I did find <laughs> that all of my stuff was not gonna fit in this bag. So, what I ended up doing is, I'm going to actually put my newborn's things into my handy dandy baby backpack, which I also got on Amazon. And as you can see, I love Amazon. Um, this diaper bag, it's a backpack. It's leather, PU leather. And I've had it for my one-year-old, but it is such a great find. I absolutely love it. The inside is like a nylon, nylon material, which is easy to wipe. The inside is just like this. It's easy to wipe down for spills, messes. And it just has so many different compartments to it. Like there's this part in the front that you can actually put bottles in. And it's insulated, as you can see. Insulated, insulation, you need insulation. Uh, there's a zipper part in there. And then in this part, there's a spot for diapers and a changing pad that comes down as well. And it's just really spacious and it also has pockets as well. So this is a great, great bag for labor and delivery. So let's get into what's going to be in my actual bag. Okay, so first things first, toiletry wise, inside the little pockets, I have Aveno Baby Creamy Oil and I have Baby Dove Wash. Um, I'm bringing my own wash just because they do provide, I think like little tiny Johnson's things, but I, if you wanna have your own products, it's better to have your own products. And um, it just personalizes your experience, you know, makes you feel a little bit more at home. And, you know, they say that you shouldn't submerge the newborn in water when you first have your newborn, which you shouldn't. Um, when I was in the hospital for both of my babies, it just didn't sit right with me and my child, you know, just sitting in the cheesy substance. It was all in her hair. It was, I mean, they did give her a washing, but I told them I want to be the one to wash my baby for the first time. So, um, like really give her a good cleaning so I opted to take like one of the, the little basins that they had in the room I filled it with some warm water um, I brought my own baby washcloth but they have washcloths there um, and then I you know squirted a few pumps of my own body wash in there and basically gave the, the baby like a sponge bath in the bed of course in a hooded towel 
and it was just a really great experience so i definitely want to do it again with my son um so definitely have uh bath supplies for your for your newborn another thing that's underrated pacifiers so i like the uh tommy tippy ultralight pacifiers that's what i use for my daughter i love tommy tippy pacifiers she took to them really easily no problems well she loves them so i sterilized these and put them in a carrying case um just for the hospital i may throw like one more in here um but this is really good to have because the pacifiers that they have at the hospital they actually suck so honestly it'll save you if you want a personalized experience and have your newborn as comfortable as possible, bring your own pacifiers already sterilized and ready to go. So that's in there. And then next, we're going to get to the exciting part, the baby clothes. So I was going to put the baby's clothes inside my bag, but that, that wasn't going to come out. So these are the outfits that I have, which are so cute. And they stay little for like a second. So you really want to take as many pictures as possible while they're still small because they get big pretty fast. But so I already washed all this stuff in dress. I love, oh, I love the smell of dress. It's so delicious. It just smells like fresh baby. I love it. So that's one of his outfits going in the bag. Two. And these are all easy to snap. I got these from Walmart. Um, easy peasy, 100% organic cotton. They're easy to, as you can see, the little snaps and they're easy to open up. And I like the two-piece sets because they have, when they come out, of course, many moms that are experienced know, but first-time moms might not know the little clamp on their belly button from the umbilical cord, which you have to let fall off on its own. So I find that the two-piece sets with the footies already attached are easier than the zip down or the snappy. I just like the two pieces, so. And of course, just regular Carter's onesies. Can't go wrong with these. I use these for swaddling. So I'll put one of these on and the swaddle blanket just for extra comfort. Um, because it's super cold in the hospital. It's very cold in the hospital. And I want my baby to be nice and warm and cuddly. So, of course, I have a couple of little onesies. And I have short sleeve and long sleeve ones. So, pack about two short sleeve and about two long sleeve ones. Um, and that... I mean, you're if, unless you're getting a C-section, you're only in the hospital for about three days. That's how long I was there with my daughter, about three, about three days. So they get you out of there pretty quick unless you have complications. If you do have any complications or you're there for a C-section, I would suggest packing more for a longer stay. But this is just for me anticipating a regular vaginal delivery. Um, and then I got the little brother. I got these from Sheen. So a lot of my things, I'm gonna say where they're from, but those were Carter's and this is from Sheen. It's his little brother. And I think this is gonna be his going home outfit. Um, I did wash it and it looks like it shrunk a little bit. You have to be careful with Sheen because a lot of her stuff runs super small. And then there's a little hat that goes with it. And this is outfit two which he may come home man. another one with the feet attached a little hat and mama's little baby so i don't know which one of these he's gonna go home man. but i'll choose once i get there and i did pack newborn sizes but i also have zero to three months as well the reason being uh, about a week and a half ago they estimated the baby's about seven and a half pounds and i think he may be like eight pounds when he comes out um maybe uh i don't know so just in case he's a little chunky one i did pack zero to three month outfits as well um with the newborn just in case so Lastly, oops, here's another one. It's an extra one I must have threw in there. 
Lastly is the swaddles. So I love Halo sleep set. Oh, I have one of these. And then I have another one, which I actually got from when my daughter was born in the hospital getting a Halo one. Um, and I kept it. So two swallow blankets for my little love bug. And that's basically it for him. Um, the only other thing that I am going to be packing in this bag is sterilized bottles. Um, I'm using the Nano BB bottles. Um, I really like those. Um, but they, I just brought some the other day. And I have to sterilize them. But they're going to go in here too. That's the only other thing I can think of that you'll need. The Nano BB bottles. Oh, um... One of these things, so this actually I got from the hospital the last time I went to labor and delivery. It's a syringe, um, and I kept a bunch of them, but this is just for when my milk comes in because my milk came in about, I would say, day two in the hospital. And even though I'm not breastfeeding, I do want to try to get some of the colostrum to give to my baby while they're a newborn because it's really packed with nutrients and great things for the immune system and just starting off like it's really really nutrient dense so if i can get some out or get a nurse to help me this is really helpful to have some syringes to give it to your baby um even if you're not breastfeeding but it's just an option of totally up to you not something you have to do but it's just a suggestion and then um another thing is Having this extra bag really helps. Now, this stuff that I'm putting in here, it's gonna leave a lot of extra room in this bag because this is really rummy, and I'm probably not gonna take the changing pad that comes in it either. So, the extra space is gonna be for extra free stuff that you get at the hospital. So, they'll get have so many things for you in the hospital that is free. Um, like, when I left the last time I gave birth, uh, I was loaded with, formula, diapers, they gave me wipes, they gave me a basin for the baby, a little suction for the baby, they gave me just all different types of things that you, that you only want to take home. Another thing for recovery-wise moms, now they have the little panties, the little disposable panties, super super helpful if you can get an extra pack of those you can always buy them on your own but the nurses are always they were really sweet to me so i don't i don't really see a problem with i mean you just gave birth to a whole life and they really come in handy the pads they give you cooling pads and like that i would i would honestly put an extra plastic bag like a grocery bag or two in the baby's hospital bag i would do that just so you can have extra bags to put extra stuff in to take home the witch hazel pads the squirty bottle thing you can take with you all that stuff they'll provide for you at the hospital so you definitely want to take two little extra plastic bags throw them in here and then leave some space in here too to take things for baby like diapers wipes formula that they give you when you leave so that's that for baby oh no, it's not. So I found these cute little booties, which I want to take some pictures of my baby, um, which I'm going to, I have to wash these, but they'll be included. And then I have this traveler baby blanket, belt straps, and travel pillow. This is going to be for the car seat. Um, they don't really like you to have this for the car seat, but I just felt like, and this is just my personal opinion. Like when I left the hospital with my daughter, her neck was just super uncomfortable looking and she was just so tiny. And I was watching her and in the back seat with her the whole ride home and my husband rode in the front. So I got this little neck pillow to brace his neck inside his car seat for this time. And I found this at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx? I sure did. And it came for $10? Can't beat that. So this whole set for $10, great. It's super soft and comfy. They have a bunch of these there. And um, I just have to wash this. But this is definitely going to go with me too um, for coming home. And that's it for baby. Now, moving on to mommy's. Mommy stuff. Okay. Now, this is part two. 
mommy wear for the spittle, which is the most exciting part. Okay, so again, in my bag, and I'm just gonna toss stuff to the side so you can see what this bag looks like. But my bag is super spacious. And I'm gonna post the link in this video to all this stuff on Amazon because I just love to help the mamas. But this is what the bag looks like inside. So it has three pockets here and then it has netted pockets here on the other side. And then it has a zipper part on the inside here, which I have stuff in. There's also a zipper part here in the front of the bag. And then there's a compartment at the bottom which shoes can go in, which I already have a pair of slippers, fuzzy slippers in. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. Footwear, slippers, you wanna have cozy slippers. I got these from Sheen. So I'm gonna take a couple pairs of slippers and then I'm gonna take some going home shoes, which is probably gonna be something easy, like my Ugg slippers. Um, but then I have these as well, which were on my feet. They're just so cute and comfy. I got them from Shein too. And I said, oh God. All right. So also in my bag and the little zipper part on the inside, I have soap for my face, Ancient Cosmetics. I love their products as well. I will post the link to Ancient Cosmetics as well. Um, they have great products, Summer Splash Body Butter for my skin. And then I have my face moisturizer cream. So all skincare stuff in the zipper part. And just in case it spills it's, or anything like that, it's zipped up. So it can't get to my clothes or anything like that. So that's great. Um, and one of my netted parts in here, I have my um, bonnet and I have hats for the baby, socks for the baby and mittens, oh, I forgot about these and the babies, mittens for the baby. So, I could put that in his bag, but I'm gonna leave it in mine. I have plenty of space. Um, so, the next thing that goes in here, definitely you wanna have your own towel. You wanna have your own towel for the hospital just because the, ho the hospital towels are not <laughs> comfortable and not, they're just not it, okay? I wanted my own towel from home, smell like my own, oh, I just love the smell of detergent. Smell like my own detergent and my own, just taste the home. So definitely have your own towel or two if you're gonna wash your hair and stuff. Um, if you're gonna take any, I got my hair done for labor and delivery like a crazy person, but if you're gonna get your hair done um, take anything you need for your hair, a uh, bonnet, scarf, like I have my bonnet, I'm gonna put my scarf in there. Um, if you're gonna wash it, make sure you have your shampoo, conditioner, stuff like that. Um, and this is one of my outfits. Everything I have is really cute, cozy, and loose. So you're gonna be bleeding, you're gonna be going through a lot of pain down there. Like you want everything to be loose and just airy and cozy to warm. So that's one of my short sleeve ones. And I have this, and I got all these from Sheen last minute, like between six to $10, which you can't beat that. And I got this, it's like a sweater lounge dress with a hood. And I just feel like, oh my God, at night when it gets cold, it's gonna be great. So I have that. And then I have this cozy fit. And this is just like a really, really cute cozy. I love this. Like I wanna get these in every freaking color. That's just how cute they are. Look at that super cozy i'm gonna feel like a big teddy bear <laughs> a big teddy bear in the hospital okay um 
And then, of course, cotton underwear. So I have a bunch of pairs of cotton underwear to take. But honestly, while you're in the hospital, you're gonna be wearing those disposable underwear. I would not pack a whole bunch of underwear and expect to like wear your cute Victoria's Secret or anything like that. Forget it. Like, don't, I mean, you can pack like a couple of pairs of underwear just for the purpose of like coming home and stuff like that. But in the hospital, you're going to be wearing those disposable underwear, disposable um, pads that they provide. And that's really all you need. So sports bras. So I have a bunch of sports bras. The reason for that being um, I would stock up on the sports bras. And my favorite kind that I got is Fruit of the Loom from Walmart. These ones that snap in the front. Um, I'm gonna say why, because you when your milk comes in if it comes in it's so painful super super painful when your milk comes in um i put ice i'm not breastfeeding so i put ice packs in each side and the snack closure it just was so like these fruit of the loom sports bars are just so comfortable again from walmart so and if I could find the link to them, I'll post these too because these come in handy. So I have a bunch of those and regular sports bras too that I like that are comfy for me. And uh, the sports bras are really for just comfort, um, me being able to ice my, my bras so that the milk freezes up and goes away because it's so, when you get engorged, that pain is like, it's, it's like next level pain. Like being engorged is, I can't even describe it. It just, it hurts. So definitely want to have comfortable sports bras. And besides that and my, my going home outfit and shoes, which is probably just going to be a sweatsuit or, you know, something else, a robe. You definitely want to have a cozy robe. I got this robe. It's a hoodie robe from Amazon. And it's super comfortable, super soft, super warm. So when I have my short sleeve little outfits on, and I'm probably going to throw some tank tops in there too. And a couple more pairs of tights because I overpack. But that'll come in handy if you have like tank tops on because you may at some point just want to not have all this fuzzy stuff on. This is more so for like the, the really heavy stuff is like for sleep. But when you wanna like bond with your baby, oop, drop some undies. Um, the robe is good to have. If you just wanna strip down to your, to your underwear and put the robe on just for your arms and then have your chest open for skin to skin contact. That's what I did in the hospital last time. So that's really what the robe is for. And besides that, um, that's it for my bag. The only extra thing I can think of that you really might need is um, a massage pad for labor. Anything helpful for labor um, that you can bring for comfort is like, I'm taking a massage pad for my husband to massage me. And this is my pad, which plugs in. So while I'm having contractions and things, this I'm gonna use, I got this from Amazon too. It heats up and it's really comfortable, plugs into the wall. Um, also, this is good for the chair that's in there. There's a chair, my, like my husband is gonna stay with me and sleep in the chair next to me. So I also brought this for him. It'll come in handy for him sitting in the chair um, overnight. It's not a comfortable experience. Um, so this will be good for him to have. And it also straps, it has a strap on it, so. I'll also post a link for this. So I'm gonna post a link to all the goodies in this video because it's so helpful. Massage pad, um, the only other thing I can think of labor and delivery is anything that's gonna make you comfortable. Like I'm gonna take my AirPods um, to listen to music while I'm laboring, to calm me down, listen to my meditation stuff, and snacks, snacks. So today I'm going out. This is my last thing that I'm gonna pack probably in the bottom of my bag. <laughs> but definitely gonna go to get some snacks. Um, Dollar Tree is a great option for snacks, um, like peanut butter crackers, pretzel sticks, little things like that. Maybe like whatever juice you wanna take or anything like that. 
I definitely would suggest getting that because you're probably not going to be able to eat for, I mean, unless they run out, you know, right after you have the baby, like if it's late at night or something like that. So I would definitely take some snacks with you and have snacks packed inside your bag. Those are the only like last minute things I could think of right now. So besides that, I think I covered everything. Oh, you know what? I didn't cover everything. Did I say soap? Your own personal soap? Oh God. Toiletries, toiletries, toiletries. Oh God. How did I forget the toiletries? So this came with, with the uh, bag that I have and it's really cute. So in my toilet you bag, I have my bio soap, a brush, my eyelash glue, lip gloss, more hair stuff, and a bar of soap. So my own, your own personal soap. You definitely want to take your own personal soap or body wash. Oh yeah, your toothbrush, things like that. But they do provide like, I like disposable toothbrushes when I go anywhere, like to a hotel. For any type of stay that's gonna be short-lived, I just use a disposable brush because I don't like taking my my good my good toothbrush, the one that's that I use is mechanical, and I don't I don't wanna take it. So I'll use that and yeah, take a toiletry bag with all your hair care essentials and everything in it. And that's basically it, mamas. Um, I'm gonna go out of here and get my last minute things I need for labor and delivery which is going to be snacks oh yeah slim gems fruit snacks whatever fruit cup so now i'm hungry but yeah i'm gonna go out and get my last minute things that i need before it's time for me to have this baby so to all the women who are about to deliver, congratulations to you and yours. I hope you have a very safe, blessed, and happy delivery. Everything goes as planned for you. And even if not, still you will be in my thoughts and prayers. I wish the best for all my moms. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. I will respond below any questions you have put them below the video i have three babies now this is number three so i'm pretty experienced with labor delivery having kids nervousness just uh just all all the things that go with having a baby it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot so i hope this video was helpful i hope it gave you some tips and tricks to ease your mind i hope you know a little bit better about what to do for your big day and i will be posting more videos uh this probably this week if i don't go into labor i have a lot more time to put into my channel now so i'm really excited about that and i'll be posting my labor and delivery experience as well um this will be my first time documenting that since this is my last baby I'm getting my tubes tied, y'all. I can't do this anymore. My husband wants one more, but he will not be getting one more thing from me. That is a baby. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, love and blessings to everybody. Mwah.